see the Victor Will How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. We're going to do play with in our series of Better Late Than Never. I've been trying because I'm filming in a different spot than I normally do, playing with my background. I dragged it out so it's a little wrinkly <laughs> and we still need to play with it some more. But what we're going to be here for is these eyeshadows. So we're playing with the Gourmand Girls Ethereal Palette. I'll also be testing out the lipstick. And if you want to see how they work, how they went on and what I think, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. All right, let's go and put on some eye primer. I am using the Paint to Base by Colored Rain, using it in the shade white. I got that in my mystery box. I'm liking it quite a bit. I thought it would be perfect for the color story of this um, eyeshadow palette. There's the Midas Cosmetics. Um, they had some weird script on there, so I couldn't tell you what the name of any of these colors are. And here's the Ethereal palette. Let's check her out. She's gorgeous. Look at her. So I'm using a colored rain brush. I'm going into the shade. We're going to call it blue, though it is kind of a bluey purple on the eye. And uh, I thought it would be good just to have, because they were all shimmers, just to have something on the outside for things to blend out to. And I thought this shade would go with most of the shades that are in the ethereal palette. So I just popped that around the edges, um, blended it out to make it kind of soft. And I thought that would work perfect, I think. Well, we'll see. And you'll have to tell me what you think. And then just pat her out. And here we are. Ethereal palette. Mm, it is really, really pretty. Wait, wait, wait. What color are we going to use first? Ah, surprise. Shangri-La, the green one. Come on, you, you wouldn't have been surprised if you knew me even a little. And of course, we're going to be using our e.l.f. spray. Um, it's always great for shimmers. It's the one that I'm panning right now. I always have one for um, putting on shimmers and one that I actually use for my face. And this color is absolutely gorgeous and it's going on really nicely with the brush. I'm quite impressed. Shimmers, as you will know, and then through the course of this video, that I find that fingers always work the best though um, they don't always quite fit in your eyes the way you want them to, like brushes. But this color is super pretty. I'm really enjoying this. It's almost the same color as that Lois Cosmetics brush that I'm using there, the handle. Yes. Gorge. All right, so now we're going to go into the shade Lunar. Wait till you see it. It is a stunner, and I would probably want to build a whole look just with this shade. Wonder, hmm, might be great with my new colored rain palette, and then just use this with it, this color with it. Look, wow, it's so pretty. It's got to be one of the prettiest blue shimmers I've ever seen. Um, there's another one in here. I didn't use it, but this one is gorgeous. And it blends in so nicely into the green. It's really nice that um, shimmers, duochromes, multichromes um, always blend in so nicely together. I find, ooh, gorgeous. Um, even more better um, in blending than mattes are a lot of the time, though I am a matte lover. That is so pretty. And then let's actually use a little bit of the green as well, because we can do that before to see if it makes difference. And it did make a little bit of a difference, but the shade definitely went on really well with a brush. And what color are we going to use next? I was going to do two um, different, or one look, so we're using Ethereal, but ended up changing my mind and decided to do one look on each eye so that way we can use more of the shades. And of course, don't forget to spritz it, woman. And then wait till you see. Oh, so beautiful. It was just, 
I used to not be so much of a shimmer person. I was all about the matte eye look, especially with my old lady eyes. But you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Multichromes, duochromes, really good metallic shades. Achoo. <laughs> Weather has been getting a little bit cooler here now. Um, even though it's sunny outside, we've got a cool breeze. But that is a beautiful color. I am digging it. And spoiler alert. Ooh, that's a shade Lucent. I think I like this eye the best out of the two. I do like me a shimmery yellow. This one has almost more of a topper feel to it. So I thought it would be good to use as like a connecting shade. So it kind of connects all the shimmers by using it. As you'll see that I'll do from inner to outer corner in a line almost like using a water activated liner but as this is kind of a, a light toppery shimmer i thought it'd be just perfect as you can see that it just kind of connects the top there together and kind of blends it into that um, color that looks more like blurple now than blue um, so i'm wondering if it's the white but anyways i thought that kind of finished it off there i thought it looked really really good I like it and we're just going to clean it up a bit because as you can see where I had my when I was using my phalanges I kind of smudged some on my face so might as well clean as we're going along right there we go so we're just going to blend out the top a little bit just to give it a more blended look diffused look. Yeah, that's the word that I'm looking for. So let's do the other eye. And we're going to start with the shade Exquisite. And this is kind of like a purple to red type shade. Um, as you'll see here, it, it's, a, it's a little bit hard going on with a brush. So I don't know if it was just the wrong brush I used, even though I am really good with using um, flat brushes and shimmers seem to really work. But for some reason, this shade was being a little stubborn. As you can see, I had to go back and dig in there a little bit. I'm still not quite getting the payoff that I want. So as always, flangey time and see if that helps any. Because this is, as you can see, a very beautiful color. And yeah, sure enough, that did the trick. Um, I do end up liking the end result of this eye look quite a bit, but I'm still a little bit more partial to the other side. But I think these colors will look really good on a black base. And let's see here. Yeah, let's just go and blend up a little bit higher. Um, I'll pro I'm going to probably end up doing the same trick while doing a cohesive line. Oh, that is Miss Luna. She's come to say hi while I'm cleaning up my makeup there. Yes, honey. So yeah, I really do like this shade. I definitely want to try it on a black base. So now we're going to go in with indigo and this one nice shimmers between a purple and a blue, depending on how you hold it in the light. So this would be, I should check out this eye look in the sunshine and then we'll have that in the middle. It is looking or reading pretty similar on the eye at the moment but once the full look is blended in um, I can definitely see that there is a gradient later in the colors so but it is so pretty right shiny and then of course the lenses hey want to do some commentary here Miss Luna tell everybody how you like the shimmery eyeshadow mm-hmm so pretty. Okay, so now we are going to go into the shade Radiance. This was the shade that called to me in the palette when I was first looking at the release. I thought this one was so pretty. Um, just like the other lighter ones, the flangey makes it go better, but it was a really pretty inner corner color. 
And then I'm going to be using this shade Astrid in the same way like I used the Lucent shade on the other eye. I'm going to do a line from the inner to the outer to kind of connect the shimmer shades together and also connect a little bit to the matte shade. Okay, it's face time. We're starting with some e.l.f. Putty Primer and then we're going to go on to the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrating Moisturizing Foundation, I guess. It's the 13 and Fair. This is actually my second bottle. I had a small size and I had this one and I already bought a new one. We're going to be using our Fenty Powder in Lavender. It is my favorite loose powder of all time. And then some Cover Effects Bronzer with my um, Trixie Mattel brush and some NARS Orgasm blush. This is a nice buildable blush. You can keep going and going. I'm going to do our brows with my Fastly Depleting Kat Von D Brow Struck Brow Powder. Why does one brow always work better than the other? I think I gave up after a while, I think, but there we go. And then for highlighter, we're using Ace Beauté. I use the pinkish shade, which is called Radiant. And then I tried playing around with the bottom lash line, trying some different things. I ended up not liking the matte on the bottom. So I just added some of the gold shimmery shade on top try and kind of fix it but it blended enough that it made an okay bottom lash line using the blue um, eyeliner pen that I got from Colored Rain in the mystery box. I was going to use it as just as liner but then I thought it would make a good vehicle to add some more of the outer colors that I originally used, the green and the purple, um, to just out, extend out and wing out to the eye which I love. Alrighty, then we're going to, of course, buff in using my ZZ Cosmetics Powder and then the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And lastly, we're using my Essence Princess Mascara. So we're using a MAC Lip Pencil. It's in the shade Cran Apple. It is like 15 years old. Don't be me, don't use old lipstick or lip liners. And this is the new Gourmand Girls lipstick. This is in the shade Passion. It smells amazing. And here is our final look. Okay, so here we are um, playing with the Gourmand Girls Ethereal Palette and also testing out one of Christina's new lipsticks. It smells like candy you just want to eat it it smells so good um but here we go i just use the liner just to kind of be like a, at first i thought i'd leave it as the blue liner but i thought it'd be a nice vehicle to kind of add a little bit more of the shimmer that was on the outer edges to give a bit of a darker look so what do i think of this palette i really like it Definitely going to need to play with it some more. I've been playing with a retroactive palette and if I remember I'll pop up a picture. I did a really nice look with uh, the pink shimmers and that but again we're going to take a look again at our color story. I used a good chunk of them so I used some of the blue, some of the purples, green, gold, yellow. I think the only colors I didn't use was Dream and Nova, I think. Did I use everything else? Oh, and I didn't use Pure. So I basically used all of the shades. I thought I could just do, a, I wasn't again sure how I was gonna do it. I thought I would just take a um, pastel base and then just do a, you know, the same look on both eyes. But I thought, let's try and play with most of the shimmers that are in this palette. So anyways, these are really pretty. I have to admit the darker shades are more my favorites. So the green, the blue, um, the, the greeny gold, they definitely have more impact. But then again, if I used, because some of these are just, you know, they're just all pretty sheer. So I bet on a black base these lighter shades would really, really shine. Or instead of using a white eye primer, maybe more of a neutral toned one. But 
not happy, unhappy, I'm not unhappy with how it turned out. I think it looks, they look really nice. They seem to blend really nice in together. And then I liked, and then I did a line of the, of the shade over the top to kind of like connect them all together. This is really, really pretty. So better late than never, but I did finally get a chance to play with the ethereal palette. I think I may do a video on the retroactive one as well, because I really like that palette as well. I got both of them at the same time for her, what, Labor Day sale? Labor Day sale, yeah. So anyways, there we go. That's our look. Oh, and the lipstick again, it smells so good. It goes on really smooth. I like the color. I didn't want one that was a traditional red red. I'm not much of a neutral girl, so I thought this was nice. It's kind of in between. It is a red, but more bricky than bright red, I think. So anyways, that's it for me. If you like this video, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still play with the shiny eyeshadow together. So as always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.